YouTube, it's your boy, man, ATS is great, back here with another video. Y'all guys can see in the title, I will be doing the predictions, well, my predictions for the 2017 WWE Royal Rumble that's here in San Antonio, Texas, as y'all guys know by now that we will be attending. First, we're going to start off with uh, the pre-show, the kickoff matches, which um, first we have Sasha Banks and Nia Jax, um, of course. All y'all guys that know me know that my daughter's a Sasha Banks fan. I'm a Sasha Banks fan, so I'm going to go with her to uh, win this match. I think she pretty much needs it um, to in, in order to get her back, you know, back on track after losing the Women's Championship to Charlotte. So um, I'm going to pick Sasha for this one. Um, the next match, uh, which we have, is the tag team titles, which will be between Sheamus and Cesaro versus uh, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Not really a fan of Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, but I really feel that these, I'm gonna go ahead and pick these guys to win because they need to win in order to be, uh, you know, for, for, for them to be taken seriously here in the tag team division. So I'm gonna go with those guys to win. I think those guys, they need that victory. They need those, uh, they need those title belts. Um, I just feel like if Sheamus, if they don't win tomorrow, I don't know what we're, what we're gonna see, you know, so far as with uh, with those two guys moving forward. Third match, uh, we have is gonna be a six was it yeah six woman uh, tag match uh, between the team of Nikki Bella, Naomi, and Becky Lynch going up against uh, the women's uh, the women's SmackDown champion Alexa Bliss, Natalia, and who is the third person? Mickey James. I'm gonna go with. Alexa Bliss, Natalia, and Mickey James for one reason only. Uh, this is Mickey James' first uh, pay per view back, and I just feel like they, you know, that they should win. Um, I do like the other team better, but I'm going to predict that those those girls, those ladies, will take this match. Now we're going to move on to the Cruiserweight Championship match, which will be against Rich Strawn and <clears throat> Neville. I think Neville's going to win this match. Um, I, I I really can see a dominating performance by him in this match um, to win the title. Be surprised if Swan walks out with that title uh, tomorrow, but I, I you know I think it, it is will be awesome, awesome um, to see Neville win this match. And like I said, I think he's going to win this match and solidify himself as the king of the cruiserweights. I kind of like where they're going with him right now. So, you know, f to put that belt on him and watch him maybe dominate for a little bit before, you know, the next person takes it off of him. So I'm going with Neville in that match. Next match um, we have for the women's, well, the Raw Women's Championship, Charlotte going up against Bayley. And I'm going to try to keep my, <laughs> I'm going to try to keep my biases out of this one. I don't necessarily see Bayley getting that championship just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Charlotte. I know, you know, this they're running this streak and try to, you know, with her so far as being, you know, not losing on pay-per-views and stuff like that. So I think they'll continue with this. Bailey probably will get uh, a rematch, maybe on Raw or something, probably win it. My thing is with Charlotte, I'm just going to say this real quick and move. I just feel like they're, we can all see it, that they're building pretty much the, the female uh, Ric Flair. He's going to win that damn women's championship 16 times. Okay, so however many times they got to make her lose it and win it back again, that's what's going to happen. So with any feud that I feel that she's going to be in, that that's what they're going to do. They're going to make her, they're going to make that belt go in between who and whoever she's feuding with, you know what I'm saying, to get her up there in the numbers so far as with how many times she's won that championship. Now, the next match, we got Roman Reigns going up against the Universal Champion, uh, Kevin Owens. For this, I think Roman Reigns will walk out of the Royal Rumble as uh, the new Universal Champion. I think they're going to have him going into WrestleMania as the Universal Champion um, or whatnot. Not, I just feel you know, so far as that they're going to have KO and Chris Jericho at WrestleMania. I just feel that Roman Reigns is going to walk out of here. I thought he would have been had this Universal Championship. The next match, very excited for this match. Um... You got John Cena going up against the WWE champion, AJ Styles. Another match, I'm going to try to keep my biases out of this match. Probably not. I'm going with AJ Styles. <laughs> He's one of my favorites um, right now, and I would like to see him walk out walk out of the Royal Rumble as the champion. I'm going to have him drop the title. Um, hopefully, it's at the next pay-per-view at the Elimination Chamber match. So they want to 
have John Cena tie this 16 time and, and everything like that. I just don't want it to be on Sun tomorrow. And the final match. Um, we have 30 man over the top Royal Rumble match. Now we've heard all the speculations of this. It could be this person. Um, the latest news I've heard is that they're they're rumored to be Randy Orton. Storyline wise, what they said in the storyline, man, that would that would be absolutely awesome. If you guys haven't seen that or read that up, I think you can look it up anywhere. And they were, oh, I kind of explained it real brief. I don't want to hold you guys too long. But it was something about Bray Wyatt somehow between now, I think probably at the next pay-per-view, the Elimination Chamber, with him winning the WWE Championship and then Randy Orton facing him at uh, at uh, WrestleMania. For that storyline and how that's going, I think that would be awesome, uh, you know, or whatnot. But... I'm not picking Randy Orton to win. Originally, I, I, I said this months ago, when he got injured, that Finn Balor was going to come back at the Royal Rumble and he was going to win. So that was my original pick, but I don't think he's participating. If he somehow is a surprise entrant or something like that, then okay, that's probably... So I guess I'm riding the fence line with my pick. I'm going with The Undertaker, and that's just because this may be his final... Thing I think if anybody deserves to go out as a WWE champion, this, that, and the third, I think it's him. Of course, The Undertaker is one of my all-time favorites, and it would just be great to see him win the Royal Rumble. And uh, go, uh, I, I would guess he'll be going after Universal Championship, um, I, I would think. Um, so, you know, that's who I picked to win the Royal Rumble. Unless Finn Balor shows up, then it's Finn Balor. You know, that's kind of weird for, you know, some people, but, you know, that's that's... Who I'm going with. Like I said before, you know, we, we will be there uh, in attendance at the Royal Rumble. We hope to go and have a good time. Um, for all you people that are going to watch it, I hope you guys have a good time watching it. For the people that are going to be there, I hope y'all guys have a good time, you know, there at the event itself. Um, you know, so those are my predictions for the Royal Rumble. And that's pretty much it. So it's your boy ATS, you're great, man. And I'm out. Peace. You got 10 seconds, you got 10 seconds.